Tonight, remembering a father shot and killed in front of his family. The shooting happened on Wednesday on Corinne Avenue in Charlotte County. There's now memorial set up in front of Matt Hansen's home, and tonight his family and friends gathered there to honor his memory. The Night Beats Justin's case spoke with Matt's family. Family members want justice for Matt. They say he was a loving father and they can't understand why the neighbor across the street isn't facing charges or behind bars as a result of Matt's death. And tonight they're doing their best to focus on the love they shared with him despite their grief. You can kill somebody. You can shoot and kill somebody. Have it witnessed. Have it on video and be sleeping in your freaking bed while my brother is in a morgue drawer. Deputies have released few details about what led to one neighbor shooting and killing the neighbor across the street, Matt Hansen. But Matt's family says the truth is not black and white. Anyone with a brain quickly realizes that this is anything but a stand your ground. In, 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 in fact, it's someone using and manipulating and, 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 and using the stand your ground as a guise to commit murder. And if they want to do the stand your ground thing, well, that's one thing. But the man came out of the house with the gun. If you're afraid of your life, you stay in the house behind the door and you call the cops. Matt's family says when he was shot, his children were outside and saw everything, including when Matt took his final breath. His kids, his one son is too afraid to even come here tonight because of the neighbor. So this vigil is an attempt to erase the horrific memories haunting this family. One of Matt's children wrote a poem. Other family members had to read it out loud for her because it was too painful for her to do it herself. Losing the only person that really ever knew me, my best friend, my father. You have taken the one person that was keeping me here and now he's gone and I can't eat. I can't sleep. I can't do anything without him. Family members told me there's now a void in their lives they're not sure can ever be filled, and they're not sure how they're going to move on from this, but they told me they're confident investigators and prosecutors will, quote, do the right thing. I asked what that meant, and they said, charge the neighbor across the street with Matt's death. On the Nightbeat, Justin Case, Wink News.